No one said it would be easy, and no one predicted Jordan Spieth would begin his day with three bogeys in his first four holes. But it didn't prevent him from becoming the youngest American to ever hoist the Claret Jug. The 23-year-old took us on a roller coaster ride Sunday at the Open, with fellow American Matt Kuchar holding steady in the final group. In the end, no one could get in the way of destiny. With just four days until his 24th birthday, Spieth became the first since Jack Nicklaus to accomplish the third leg of the career Grand Slam by the age of 23. And it was quite the adventure. After Spieth's wayward drive on the first tee, Matt Kuchar put his foot on the gas with a stellar approach on the second to get within a stroke of his President's Cup teammate. The pair made the turn tied at the top, but it was the 13th hole where things took a turn. Spieth had to take an unplayable drop after his drive ended up in the tall grass, and after more than 20 minutes assessing the situation, Cooch came out ahead with the lead for the first time all day. That didn't last long, though. Spieth turned around and almost aced the 14th, then sank an incredible eagle putt on the 15th, to go birdie, eagle, birdie in a span of three holes. By the time the two arrived at the most famous walk in golf, the kid from Texas was ahead by two. They took that chilling stroll at the 18th fairway with Spieth knocking on history's door. And his friends, they were there waiting as he walked off 18, a three-time major champion. Though much like last year's two-man duel, Henrik Stenson and Phil Mickelson's play was much different. And there were times when it seemed that someone else just might sneak into the picture. That someone was Hao Tong Lee, the first player from Asia to shoot 63 in the final round of a major. He ended his day with an incredible four straight birdies, five in his final seven holes. Rory McIlroy even had us wondering after his incredible approach and putt for Eagle on the 17th. The 2014 Open champ finished tied for fourth. But it was Richie Ramsey's incredible Eagle hole out from the bunker on that same hole that took the shot of the day honors. Ricky Fowler gave us a web gem of his own with a monster putt on nine before the turn. He would finish at even par, tied for 22nd. What an incredible week of golf, and it's not over yet. Monday, I will talk the Barbasol Championship winner and get you up to speed on everything that's trending on and off the course and trending on tour. See you then.